evening and welcome back to our bedtime stories videos. I have a new book for you this week called Snow Happy to Be Here, the slightly silly story of the Snowblatt family. One day the Snowblatts were having a chat, as they do when the humans aren't near, when suddenly little Snow Ellen piped up and said in a voice crystal clear, where did we come from and why were we made and how did we get here from there? Yeah, joined in Snow John, I want to know too. Did we, poof, just appear from thin air? Mama and Papa just winked at each other. Good question, said Mama. Let's see. Maybe it's time that I tell you the tale of how snow people all come to be. It starts with the snowflakes that fly from the sky to wherever on earth they are blown. Zillions of snowflakes, but each one unique with a destiny of all its own. Some will be snowballs, and some will be forts, and some will melt down to the sea. Some will be skied on, and some will be slid on, and some will become you and me. But how do the snowflakes get made into us? I'll answer that, replied Papa Snowball. It's location, location, location. What Papa is saying is, continued his wife, is that snowflakes are only the start. There have to be fun-loving humans nearby because they do the magical part. After each snowfall, big humans come out and start sweeping and shoveling and stomping. Then small humans appear dressed in silly snow gear and go running and romping and clomping. Sooner or later, they get the idea to begin rolling balls of all sizes. Some giant, some tiny, some lumpy, some shiny. And of course, there are always surprises. When they start attacking the issue of stacking, they find that it's not very easy. There's huffing and puffing and wobbling and bobbling that leave the poor things kind of wheezy. Then comes the part where we get all of our features, our eyes and our noses and such. As you may have noticed, materials vary, so we each get that personal touch. Yeah, that's for sure, Snow John said with a grin. You know we're all you know we all look kind of weird. Plus, none of us match each other at all. And just think about grandpa's beard. That's right, said Snow Ellen. And how about clothes? Have you ever seen such funny stuff? Hey, wait there a minute, said Papa Snowblat. You're focusing on the mere stuff. I agree, added Mama. You're missing the point. It's a miracle we're even here. Our humans may not have had the best taste in fashion, but they know what they're doing. And that's clear. After they've rolled us and buttoned us and bowed us and patted down each of our little flakes, they step back with pride and then they provide what we need to finally be awake. What is it? What is it? exclaimed the snow kids. Is it hard? Does it take a long while? No, explained Mama. It just takes a moment. They bring us to life when they smile. The end. So thank you so much for joining me this evening. If you enjoyed this book, it is available inside the children's collection.